difficulties and I'm, I'm sure everyone go through with the difficulty yeah. but it does not necessarily means that we have another life look this the routine of this our life every day it yeah. will be over soon one day yeah. and yeah. one day we'll die mm -hmm. and then the we we step into the realm of uncertainty yeah. now there are two groups the believer group and disbeliever group mm -hmm. now that how we look into our life yeah. is based on our intellectual faculty and reasoning mm -hmm. and whatever evidence I have we make the decision yeah. so same way when the religious claims about the life after mm -hmm. and the meaning of our life what is what is the actual meaning of our life yeah. this has been explained through our reason as well as the external evidence mm -hmm. which we call a revelation and messenger prophets and messenger and the books mm -hmm. so our reason our you know intellectual faculty if we apply it we can come to a conclusion there is something exist yeah do you agree so far well you say there's only believers and disbelievers there is a, a third one those who yeah sort of half believe but the things they've got on their plate anyway they shove it to one side yes, keep going, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah and you know when i die you know i'll work it out then yeah yeah <laughs> so so we have all these three package yeah yeah so one package is believer one package is not truly believer yeah. and one package is the package of unsurety it's not truly believing it's a case of um they're so wrapped up in in the worldly affairs worldly affairs yeah, yeah, yeah. it all just seems i sort of that when i finally curl up my tootsies and end yeah. up in the next life yeah yeah <laughs> so so in in our as part of Islamic understanding, yeah. the God also tells us there are people who will follow their desire as their own God. Mm -hmm. So everyone is worshipping something. Yes. Everyone in this world worshipping something. You would not find a single person who would not worshipping. Mm -hmm. What in Islam we are saying, in instead of worshipping the wrong entities, which will not avail you when you are in difficulties, you should worship the correct one who will help you. Mm -hmm. So that's why investigation is required. Who is my main master? Is my society is my master? Is my ego is my master? Or is my desire is my master? Or the maker of the, my universe is master? Mm -hmm. So the criteria number one is to fulfill that who is my true maker? Yeah. That is why it's important to identify who the true creator is so that the rest of the question can follow by through the extension of your understanding, right? Yeah. So therefore we say, I know, I, I know she's waiting, yeah. sir. Yeah. What we say in Islam, I'm going to make it short don't, for you. Don't, yeah? don't. So in Islam, we believe there is one maker. The creator is unlike any human being or any creation or anything we see and observe. Yeah. So creator is unlike the creation. Mm -hmm. And creator is eternal mm -hmm. and he does not have a father, neither he has a son, mm -hmm. nor, he, that, nor is there a, to him any equivalent. Means you cannot compare anything to God. Yeah. So that is the creator we believe in. So therefore, it clearly identifies that, that we should we do not worship any creation. No. We worship the creator. And that makes us distinguish between all other religions in the planet. And then the creator, the following step is creator define our purpose since he is our maker. Mm -hmm. So he defines our purpose through sending prophets and messengers mm -hmm. and outlining the clear guidance how should we live our life and remind telling us what will happen after we die. Through our intellectual faculties, we do not know what will happen there. Mm -hmm. So these are the knowledge of Ilm al ghaib or the knowledge of unseen, mm -hmm. which came from or which communicated from the one who knows it. Mm -hmm. And by default, Allah, He knows the Alim, He is the Alim al ghaib He knows the knowledge of unseen. So He's relating what will happen. So Allah will resurrect everybody and ask question about this life. Yeah. And He will ask you, that I have gifted you this life. I have given you intellectual faculties. I have given you wealth. Why didn't you show gratitude? Why you shown the gratitude to the human beings around you? Yeah. Why you apply your double standard? So and then we have a consequence in Islam about heaven and hellfire. Mm -hmm. Heaven are for the people who will believe God and worship God. Yeah. And hellfire is the one who reject God yeah. and, and are 
you know, criminal, they will have the criminal activities and they will be doing all the bad things which created, mm -hmm. uh, tells us to, to, to stay away with. So this is a very simple message because the message comes with consequence. Mm -hmm. Have a read. I'll have a read. Okay. And uh, we are, I wish you all the best. Thank you. We are and, uh, for a train, actually. Yeah, anyway, look after yourself. Okay, it was a pleasure too. talking to you. Thank yeah, you. Thanks, bye.